Come on, Maddie. So, Maddie, it's called In My Heart. We have one day to learn it because tomorrow is the big Joffrey Ballet audition. My solo this week is a lyrical routine, and it's called In My Heart, and I really love the song and the choreography. Shh, low, hold. This is a stellar routine for her. It has all the elements that she needs. She jumps, she turns, her transitions are lovely. It certainly is a routine that's right up Maddie's alley. That and go right into that from there. One, two. And you can't illusion until the pressure is on. I expect Maddie to do really well this weekend. It's hard to get to the top of the pyramid, but it's even harder to stay there. Harder to stay there. So, game on. Number 890, open, ages 9 to 10, in my heart. She doesn't care that she's going to burn the kid out. <laughs> Tell her how it feels, Chloe. You did it, too. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. We've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. Daddy, honey, you're so hard on yourself. You have to stop this, OK? Dance isn't that important, Maddie. Yes, it is. But it's not your whole life. Well, it is your whole life, and it shouldn't be. This is way too much pressure. It's really hard when your daughter's crying saying she's a failure and she's nine years old. You're not a failure when you're nine years old. Not at all. And she kept saying, Abby's going to hate me. She's going to hate me. And it really breaks your heart. Abby's not going to hate you, Maddie. But I didn't even hear them announce my daughter. No, that doesn't matter. But I'm just saying. Just I, 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 mean, but we, I don't want to make excuses. Every kid forgets no. the dance. That's not the deal. She thinks you hate her. Sorry. Aw. See, she thinks you hate her. See, I told you she doesn't hate you. Maddie, it's not your fault, honey. You are such a fabulous kid. <laughs> See, Emmy loves you, Maddie, okay? She knows what a kid you are. You know what? Those kids that have perfect runs and win everything with their kids, where are they now? They don't want to dance anymore. <laughs> Kids that still have something to shoot for and something to win, <laughs> they're the ones that are working. She screwed up just like everybody else. But you know what? Maybe they won't all be vultures and be after her all the time now. Girls, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, we're not going to play that game. You can see her and talk to her later. We're not going to play that game. We're not playing the game. I'm not playing the game either. But I also know that my child ran onto stage I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage, OK? So point noted. It's a horrific. Care. I don't care. I know you don't care. And that's my point. It's not that incredibly cruel that there is a teacher who's sitting there having a pity party for herself because her student forgot to dance on stage. And other students, every other kid in that room has had that same experience. They all could have used a dance teacher who cared about them. Awards. Thank you. 
I'll take you down. Gotta be supportive of your friends, so. Any child being on stage and forgetting their dance is a, it's humiliating. And it's happened to all of and us. And it's happened to everyone. But she even said to Maddie, she they said she didn't care. for a reason. And she didn't want any excuses, she could care less. Yeah, That's but there was not a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other, they all hurt the and, same. And the kids know. The kids know. It was know. so obvious and transparent. I've tried to deny that for many years and give Abby excuses. Because I'm saying that's just the way she teaches. That's just the way she is. But today, it was like black and white. No, it's not. It's not the way she teaches for all. There's a double standard. It's a different system. It is not equal. Why don't you care that all the other kids forgot their dances, but you care for Maddie? My kids have been with you since they were two. I've been with you for 30 years, and you didn't care that Paige came off the stage and forgot her dance. She told Maddie she didn't care she forgot her dance either. She sat there and cried. Abby, for once, was speechless because she knew she was wrong. For once, someone called her on something, and she had nothing to say. Oh, I'm glad to see you're working. After learning a number and not finishing it, she forgot her dance and stayed out on stage with a blank look on her face. I knew Maddie was about to crack. I never had that opportunity to tell Maddie that. We never discussed you forgetting your dance and running off the stage. I don't really know what happened to me in New Jersey. I kind of just blanked out, and I forgot all the moves and just ran off stage. It's my reputation. Do you know that dance? If I made you do it again, could you do it? Uh-huh. I want to see Maddie's heart solo. I want to see if she can do this number. Watching Maddie rehearse this routine really makes me want to see her do it on stage. I've put a lot of time into this choreography, and I know that this is going to be a winning routine for Maddie. I want you prepared to do this number. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Because when you least expect it, I'm going to throw you out there to do it. Come here. Yep. Well, I'm gonna... Remember how I told you that the pyramid that I entered her so well? And then I canceled it uh -huh. because of what happened last time? Uh -huh. It's still in there. OK. I knew it. I knew there was no way that Abby and Melissa could go through a competition without letting Maddie have a solo. It's so frustrating because it puts so much more pressure on Chloe because now Chloe's looking at it thinking that she's not enough to lead this team. I scratch her. It looks really bad. So I think she has to dance. Chances are they are going to announce contestant number whatever. Maddie's a scratch then the whole auditorium and every kid here dancing are going to know that you were supposed to do something and you chose not to do it. I know you don't feel good, but what if you did a Broadway show eight times a week, would you call in sick tonight? Or would you go? Next week, I'll do it. Next week? But next week, you're not in the program. We don't know who gets to dance next week. You know I believe in you that I don't think you're a big failure. Yeah? You have to believe in yourself, though. So maybe you could go later. This has to do with the reputation that precedes us. You know, when Abby enters a student, they are backstage, they are prepared, they are ready to go on. So when they say that a kid is scratched, it just makes all of us look bad. You're feeling better later on, you're doing that dance. I'm, I'm putting my foot down. Got it? So keep going over it when you get the chance. Miss Abby wants me to do my solo from New Jersey. I didn't want to make her bad or anything, but I don't really feel comfortable. All right, listen to me. It's your decision. You were put in, you paid the entrance fee. I had automatically assumed, which was wrong of me, that you would be doing a solo this week. After what happened at the last competition, I said, too much pressure. She's not going to do anything this week with the group. Let her get her head back on straight. That's fine. Fine. Now we get here, it's still in the program. I had Maddie run that number again in the dressing room. I forced the kid to do it. So it's your decision. We just need to know. I don't want to make you mad, but I'm just like, I feel like I'm not ready. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sure it's a confidence issue with Maddie. I think she feels like a failure. All right, coming at you next to the entry. Anybody? One, six, Somebody? Seven. Tell me. Put your hands together for Maddie with In My Heart. Do I need to change her for the trio? No, 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 sit, sit down. Don't do it. Don't, don't, Hearing the announcer call my name made me feel really bad. I don't want to let anyone down. 
get somebody different. She's sick. It's hard when you feel two ways about something because I don't really want to do it because I don't think I'm ready for it, but I think I should do it anyways. It's okay. Maddie, stop. Honey, yeah. you're sick. She's sick. They announced her. They didn't even know she was scratched. They didn't know I took care of it. It went from bad to the worst it could have been. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Okay, let's hurry up and get in there. It's really great that Maddie's going to be able to have a technique private. Plie flex, feet, feet. See that hip up, feet. I know that Melissa is worried about Maddie not doing solo. I know she cannot stand it that her kid is not the center of my attention. I get that. Seven, eight, stretch back through your shoulders, but I am not giving in. Maddie has to want it. You didn't have a solo last week. You don't have a solo this week. You need to have that fire back in you. You love to dance, and I know that. Of course, I started to cry because she loves Miss Abby. They do have this special thing. I never had that with a teacher. But ever since New Jersey, and you exited that stage, you're not the same Maddie. I don't see that fire in you. You have to show us that you want it bad. You know that. Hey, Mom, please cry. <laughs> she loves to be here. You know that. You know I love you. I know. And when those women say bad things about you, it hurts my heart, and it hurts Maddie's heart, too. And I just walked right out of the room. I was like, I'm embarrassed, so I need to leave. These mothers, the way they talk to you, I think it's awful how these kids disrespect you too. Chloe rolls her eyes in class all the time. I know. I what know. I'm upset about is that Chloe leaves class early all the time. On Monday, she went to the doctors, and Kelly, Christy's so-called best friend, which they're not, called me and said, oh, Christy's taking Chloe out of school early today, take her to the doctors, and then she's taking her to the movies. Melissa, don't worry about these three mothers that don't know the right foot from the left. Who cares what they think? They're just jealous of our relationship, and they got to get over it. They, you know, it that has nothing to do with Maddie. I know that, but but always remember, I have her best interests. You always have my daughter. Where did she go? She better be somewhere working on those feet and not playing around. Miss Abby, I really want to do my solo today. I want to show you how wonderful it is. Like you know how Paige is, how she's like real perky. You can't walk out like this. You have to go in there perky, like you're perky Maddie self. Don't go in with this face. Remember that face? I always say, I hate that face, Maddie. Don't freak out, OK? You're fine. Happy. Turn it. My mom encouraged me to go talk to Abby and say I was ready to do a solo. Well, I'm totally confident, and I'm ready to compete. Can you please come in the hall with me? You want me to come out in the hall and run your number? No. You don't even have a number. Maddie asked if she could talk to me. Now. Perfect example. That's a kid taking the initiative, asking an adult politely, can I speak with you? Sure. Are you ready? Yes. Can you beat everybody? I think yes. Well, you, but you don't look, you're like, yes, I think yes. Maddie, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Nobody cares. You act like someone's making you do it. I want to do my solo. I think I can do my solo. I'm ready to do my solo. Very wishy-washy. That's not a game face. That's not the Maddie face I know. The Maddie that's jumping and warming up, trying to psych Chloe out. You go out there with that face, she's going to beat the crap out of you. I think you don't want to dance because you think she's going to beat you. She wants to dance. She's just afraid of you. you don't know, talk are... for her. Well, I am talking. I'm her mom. Of course, without a beat, up comes Melissa. Abby, she's ready. She really wants to do this. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, Phew. it's not about you, Melissa. It's not your decision. Stop with the tears. Babies cry, not you. Do you understand that? Yes. It's my dance company. I say who's dancing and who isn't. So I'm looking at this kid and I thought, you know what? Throw her out there. She needs to know if she comes to me and asks me for something, that it means business and we're going through with it. What I'm trying to do is enter Maddie. OK. So I'm just letting you know that these two I haven't seen since we walked in the building. We're not going to scratch. OK, we're see so we need to add Maddie. I need Maddie. you to enforce your rules. So if you call them and they're not here, and you call them again and they're not here, then they're an automatic scratch. Now, I registered Maddie. We put her in. No problem. We're good to go. No, because you have to run yourself. Here, Maddie's going to do her solo. It's, you know, 
When Melissa walks in and tells us that Maddie's now doing a solo, I thought, well, it's par for the course. I think Abby's greatest pleasure in life is to put Maddie and Chloe against one another, so this is obviously something planned. This is Maddie performance in my heart. a beat. It was a great way to come back after a catastrophe. <laughs> My daughter's nine years old, and she handled herself like a professional on stage. She was amazing. I'm so proud of her. When I walked off, I was really pleased with myself because I just said to myself, I did it. <laughs> Place goes to entry number 58A in my heart, Maddie from the Abbey. Maddie might not have gotten first place at the competition, but in Abby's eyes, she's the winner. We were told by you on the phone to Kelly that Maddie practiced with her music like that and she knew to keep dancing. The day after Maddie's music skipped, I talked to Melissa on the phone and she admitted to me that if Maddie's music skipped, she was instructed to keep on dancing. So make my daughter look bad again. No, we're telling you that you look bad. Okay. Because you have said that it's OK to lie and cheat as long as you win and you get your way. And you know what? That's not something that any of us want to teach our kids. My daughter did not practice to music like that. Melissa, I really have a hard time believing you. Well, someone here is lying. If Abby set that up, that would be pretty despicable. That's but cheating. how can you do that? It's I cheating. I don't know. I how would have no idea, cheated? but that would be really I low. didn't do anything of the sort. I would never cheat. But moms accused Abby of causing my daughter's music to skip. That's like sabotage. Go back. Let's try it one time. I need to speak to Abby about the situation, and I need to get to the bottom of it. You'd have to ask her. Oh, I, I will. I guarantee it. I'm not happy about this. <laughs> really, really important. The kids need to leave. I, I really need to talk. I'm I so need to. Can, Abby, I don't care. I need to talk to you. Please, girls, go real quick. Very quickly, go. I walk into the studio, and Maddie and Chloe are practicing. Maddie is mad at me that I walk into the studio. And I really don't care. I need to get to the bottom of this. Melissa's in there talking to Abby. Oh, 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 oh. You on us. What do you think we're, what do you think she's saying? Maybe she's not talking about it. Oh, sure. God. After we and just she's going to say, don't they're talk. just jealous. Melissa once again storms off to go tattle on us to Abby. If she really felt strongly that she didn't do what Kelly was saying she did, then stay and defend yourself. Don't go run and tattle on us to Abby. These mothers are calling my daughter a cheater for last weekend. They said that she practiced her dance with that music. Did you cheat for my daughter? They're Absolutely not. You would never send a child intentionally on stage with a bad CD. That makes me look bad. I've been doing this for 32 years, women. Wake up. I have that would ruin all over my, my daughter's career. I would never Whoa, let my daughter cheat. Wait a second. Your daughter's career? How about my name? I know. How about my reputation? I know it's your reputation, but, but my daughter's not. You just fell into the same pot with them. I'm sorry, because they're calling my daughter a cheater. I don't want my daughter to be labeled as a cheater. She's not. I don't want you to give her special treatment, or I'm pissed. It's I'm done. Melissa, we she's do once again. again jealous that your kid won. Don't you get it? Oh, OK, well, I'm I'm not happy. Toughen up, Melissa. I was mad. I was mad at Abby, but I wanted to make sure that she wouldn't do this. And she said, I would never do that, ever, ever, ever. And I believe her. 
What were you talking to Abby about? I asked her if she did something to the CD. She's pissed that I even thought that she would do that.